Good morning guys and welcome back to another vlog. So today is a nice and rainy, gloomy Monday, but we have some things to get done. So if you've been following along on all the other vlogs, you saw my New York Fashion Week collection, which is really just my holiday collection. Um, and you saw that I've been making it in a bunch of different colors as well for the actual launch of it. Well, I still have a few colors to make of certain pieces. So that's what I'm gonna do this week. Cause at the end of this week on Friday, Kennedy's gonna come up and help me with the photo shoot and getting kind of all the website pictures ready. So I can start a promoing it and be getting the website kind of put together for when I launch because when I do launch the collection I'm actually still gonna be in Spain I'm launching it November 4th which is a Thursday and I come back that Saturday so that way when I come back like that Monday I can start working on things but yeah so I want to get everything prepped so that everything's ready to go before I leave for Spain so that's kind of why we're kind of doing everything super in advance and super ahead of schedule but yeah I need to get everything done for this photo shoot so um, I'm a little little stressed I'm also not feeling the greatest today so hopefully we feel better throughout the day but yeah let's let's get started dress pretty much done. I also like put on a sweatshirt and redid my hair because I'm actually filming a podcast with somebody here in a little bit so I wanted to look a little more presentable. But anyway the dress is almost done. I just need to go buy a zipper for it so I can't really finish it yet which I didn't think about. So I'm gonna have to get a zipper eventually. I might go tomorrow though. I don't really want to go today. It's like super rainy and gross out and I just like hate running errands if it's rainy out. So not gonna do that. But yeah I'm gonna go ahead and kind of set up for this podcast and I'm actually I don't know if by the time I upload this video it'll be announced officially but if not then you guys get a sneak peek announcement but I'm actually starting my own podcast and I'm so freaking excited about it it's something that I've been working on for months now in previous vlogs if you've heard me say like oh I have a call with somebody or I have a meeting with somebody probably a good amount of those were podcasts that I was filming I have like four or five already pre-filmed I'm gonna start officially uploading them in October when I'm in Spain just so you guys have like content while I'm out basically but I'm so excited it's called unfiltered fashion talks and it will also have a youtube channel to go along with it so you guys can go subscribe to that if you would like to that would be wonderful i'll leave the link down below and also i have an instagram page that i haven't started posting on yet obviously but you can also check that out and go follow it if you want but basically i just wanted a space where we could talk about fashion things and like the fashion industry and being a designer and just every aspect of it in a more kind of like unfiltered way i know a lot of people in the industry obviously um whether that was through school through social media or meeting them in person whatever it may be and I just think that I don't know everything obviously and I know so many people that know so much more than I do and I want to give them kind of that platform to be able to speak about what they're more knowledgeable on or just like speak openly about things that we struggle with within the fashion industry things that are hard about running a business or just becoming a fashion designer fashion school like all the things that I get asked about the most like I just wanted a space for you guys to kind of like learn more and listen to other people and also just like introduce Introduce you to other incredible like designers and just people in general. I'm super excited and the one that I'm filming today we're doing like a podcast swap so I'm gonna film hers today and then we're doing mine next week so super excited about that. Go ahead and uh, subscribe and follow to that down below if you want to you know be ahead of the game. It's just gonna be super fun. I want it to be like a fun side project. Kennedy's helping me out so much with it. I'm basically just doing like the filming, the talking, the like editing of the voice podcast thing and she's doing all the video format stuff. We're kind of working through the aesthetic of the Instagram feed and how I want it to look and then she's gonna take over that so it's gonna be like more of like a fun project for me I don't want it to feel like work so she's gonna be helping out a lot with that which she already has been and it's been super fun so that's a fun little announcement for you anyway I'm gonna go ahead and kind of get myself ready and set up for this and I will catch you guys after 
So it is a lot later, filmed the podcast, I had lunch, and I also finished up a custom order that I had to do, which I did film, so you guys will see it eventually. But I also launched some stuff yesterday, all the pre-made stuff, leftovers from the pop-ups, slash other things I just like made for the pop-ups and then never actually took to them, so I just they've just been sitting here. It's a bunch of like pre-made pieces, all of the ones that are basically on there. So I have a few orders to pack up and uh, get ready to ship out, so I'm gonna do that real quick. Morning. It's the next day. Are we shocked that I did an awful job at vlogging yesterday? No, not at all. Anyway, I've spent the entire morning trying to figure out how to ship a package super fast to Canada because I need to send a custom order that has like a very limited uh, time crunch, I guess, that we're working on. So I had to figure that out. It took me like all morning to try to get that out. But I also went ahead and packaged some orders that I had that I didn't get to yesterday. So I got those all out and I think I'm going to go to the post office to drop them off and then I need to drop off the other package at FedEx as well and they're all in different uh, parts of town so love that for me and I guess while I'm out and about I might as well go buy the zipper that I need for the pink dress and I think I might need one for the red one as well so I'm gonna double check that and just like get everything done at once because I hate running errands and I might as well just do them all at once even though everything is literally on completely opposite points of the town so love that for me yeah let's uh let's go run some errands <laughs> Stop number one complete, went to the post office, just dropped off a bunch of packages. I still have the other one to drop off at FedEx, but I needed to check my PO box here too, so I had to come to this one, which is further away from the FedEx that I have to go drop this package off of, but that is okay. I think I'm gonna go to Joanne's next to get the zippers, and then I'm gonna go to FedEx, because that one's closer to my house, so then it's like full loop around, I guess. So let's do this. <laughs> At Joann's. Gotta love it. I cannot wait for the day I move out of Indiana and have more options other than just Joann's to go to, but alas, here we are. <laughs> We have secured the zippers. I'm shocked they actually had all the colors that I needed because I feel like every time I go, they never have what I actually need. So thank God for that. Hopefully I'm not missing anything else that I might need from there. I feel like I always should get something else and like I forget about it and then I have to come back and it's the worst. But anyway, I guess now we're off to our last location. FedEx. I am so tired already. It's also like noon and it's my lunch time and I'm hungry so that doesn't help. So love that for us. Let's go. <laughs> I just attempted to parallel park and that did not go well at all and I had somebody behind me and I kept telling them go ahead like you can skip around me. I'm gonna take a hot minute. This woman would not skip around me and she looked very mad so I just had to go away and park a lot further out in a parking lot. Love that so much. I am so tired. Let's hope that I did this correctly and this package ships in time because honestly I went to too much trouble to figure this out for it to not ship in time. So let's do this thing. Did it. That took a literal two seconds to do, so love that for us. Okay. 
So I'm home now and my hair is whack. Um, I feel like I never vlog like downstairs in my house. I feel like I'm always upstairs. I feel like you guys don't really care about my like mundane day-to-day -day things. Like when I'm like driving, going places or when I'm like eating lunch and things like that. Like I feel like I used to vlog a lot more of that and then I stopped because I'm like maybe people don't care and they just care about like the business content. But at the same time, I feel like it would make a vlog more interesting if I actually show you guys like all the random little things. Like I don't know, personally I love watching like vlogs I, that's what I watch all the time when I'm like sewing which you guys can definitely usually see in my videos that I'm like always watching something on YouTube but like somebody I love watching is like Emma Chamberlain and she doesn't do anything crazy like she literally just vlogs like the most random mundane things and like it's super entertaining so I'm like maybe I need to start putting that in there because I have a very uh, boring life out here in Indiana and you know I don't show that enough necessarily so anyway I'm gonna have lunch. I have leftovers from yesterday. I always cook too. I feel like that's something I don't show ever, but I cook myself like lunch and dinner every single day. I never like order out. I never go out to eat. I literally always cook, which is something I love, but I also don't show. Anyway, I have some like rice noodles and tofu and veggies and eggs into a thing. I'm not vegetarian or vegan, but I try to eat less meat, at least when I'm home by myself, because when I'm with family, I feel like majority of our meals are around meat, just being like, Hispanic and cooking out and stuff like that. I feel like meat is just like a very, very important part of our culture and just like foods that we eat. So I can't really avoid it there, but I do try to avoid it personally because I know that that is the more sustainable option. So gonna eat this, but yeah, let's heat it up. So while that heats up, I literally always sit on my couch to eat. I rarely ever sit uh, at my table. I only ever eat breakfast like at my little, um, whatever this is called, my island. I only eat there if I'm with friends, but usually like my lunches, my dinners, I like to just sit on the couch and eat while I watch YouTube because living by yourself, it just like doesn't make sense to like, I don't know, sit and silence and eat sometimes like i don't know so i like to watch youtube i'm super into like youtube podcasts i love listening to people talk i feel like it makes me feel less lonely when i'm just like doing work or whatever because i feel like i'm just like part of a conversation even though i'm not talking which is usually how i am anyway because i'm a pretty quiet person in the big group settings so yeah one of like my favorite ones that i go to every week is wild till nine i've watched like lore diy my entire life obviously like i feel like growing up that was just like such a fun channel to watch as somebody who like loved being creative and now i just like love her podcast i listen to pretty basic i listen to zane and heath unfiltered i listen to crazy stupid fangirls what else do i listen to i listen to a lot of them and usually when they just randomly show up i'll listen to them too even if i don't know who they are like i just love podcasts so that is what we're gonna watch <laughs> So I just finished lunch. I'm gonna go ahead and head upstairs to A, check my email because I just realized I have a bunch of emails that I need to answer. And B, get started on hopefully sewing today because I really did not do that yesterday very much. I and mean, I'm a little behind of where I wanted to be considering my photo shoot is this Friday and it is now Tuesday and I still don't have any of those dresses finished that I told myself I was gonna finish this week. So love that for me, but um, yeah, I'm gonna answer some emails real quick. All right, emails are done with, time to get sewing. I'm going to go ahead and put the zipper into this dress, which I'm literally obsessed with. I think this is the cutest thing ever. This like gives me just like the princess vibes that I always wanted, the little pink dress that I would have killed for when I was little, you know, all the vibes. How freaking cute is this in this little light pink color? Ah, oh, I'm obsessed. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up and then we will hopefully get the next one cut out and start sewing it these are honestly quite easy to put together it's not super complicated it just does take a hot minute but not too long anyway so hopefully i can get the other color out of the way the other red one but let's finish this one up I think this is so freaking cute. So love that. I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting out the red one, which is actually 
a very similar fabric to the red Juliet dress, but this one's a little bit brighter. Like the tone of it is just like the slightest bit brighter than the Juliet dress fabric is. So it's not the same fabric, slightly different tone, but basically the same vibe. It is a nice, beautiful red satin. So it's probably gonna be the dress that I wear for Christmas, not gonna lie. So let's uh, get cutting. out and surging everything i was gonna start sewing but it is that time of day you know about like three o'clock where i start you know just not being very productive and i kind of need a mental break so what does that usually mean either coffee tiktok youtube or just laying down and doing absolutely nothing for a little bit to re-energize myself because yikes i would also usually go on a walk but today it's been like raining on and off all day so i don't trust the weather to be good to me if i go out so I'm gonna take a quick little break and we'll be back to sewing soon, but I just need to get my mind off things. So cute and red. Yeah, anyway, it's like, I don't know, five-ish now. It is 5.05 and I'm going to have a dinner with my mom at my parents' house. So I might just call it a night there because I don't like to start things midway and like leave them mid midway. Like I like to just get things done. So that being said, I don't want to start a new dress uh, if I'm just gonna leave it halfway there. So yeah, you know, I'm glad I got these two dresses out of the way. I am still behind on where I wanted to be this week, but you know, we are making it through. We are doing what we can. I feel like the changing of the seasons is starting to hit me, even though it's still quite warm out, but it's been very gloomy lately. And since life has like settled down from all my travels and all the exciting things, and I'm kind of just back to this like being by myself, working and sewing, all day long kind of thing where my friends aren't in town anymore because they're all in college again and all the things are just kind of hitting me at once plus like personal life things and I've just not been feeling great so you know what considering all the things I am glad that I am where I am with everything that I wanted to get done but wish I could do more but sometimes you just can't do it that's okay too so I will probably catch you guys tomorrow morning Good morning. It is another rainy day here in good old Indiana and I'm going to lose my mind if it rains one more day this week. I don't know about you, but like the rain or just like gray days just like kill my mood. And if it's like three days in a row, it just kill her literally killer anyway we're gonna attempt to be productive regardless i'm going to make the juliet dress in this nice little purple color that i have so i want to get that done and then i have one more dress after that to get done and then it will be good with the entire collection so i don't know why i was stressing so much about it i feel like i have time it's wednesday so i still have tomorrow to finish everything up before we do the shoot on friday so i think i should be actually pretty good hopefully anyway if all goes well that is because the other dress the victoria dress if you guys watched me make the first one, I had a lot of troubles with it. So I basically have to redo the entire pattern. And I think I figured out an easier way to go about it. So hopefully that goes smoothly. But basically I'm like redoing the entire pattern. So that one might take a little longer, which is why I'm just going to start with this one. Where the pattern's already done, already good to go. I think it's going to be really cute, really classy, and a more like deeper tone than the bright red. So yeah, let's get cutting. <laughs>
are getting through it. It is mostly put together. I obviously don't have the back seam or the zipper put in yet or the hem done, but the sleeves are in. Um, obviously the facing isn't in either, so I still have a little bit to go, but um, I think these are super cute. I really love this. I think this color is super pretty. Yeah, it's about lunchtime now. It's like 12-ish, so I'm gonna figure out what the heck I have to even eat today because I literally feel like I don't have any food. I always go through this thing where I, I don't like to buy too much groceries because I find that obviously being one person, a lot of things go bad if you buy too much. And obviously, A, I don't want to waste my money and I don't want to waste food. So I try buying like just what I need, but then sometimes, you know, I eat it all too quickly and then I don't have very much food left, but I don't like to eat out or order in. So I try to make the most of whatever I have, but sometimes I just don't have that much stuff. If anybody else does that, let me know. But yeah, that's always my problem. <laughs> anyway, let's go figure out what I have. So as I suspected, I don't have anything to eat really. Um, I have some stuff in the freezer, but it wasn't obviously like thawed out. So I need to thaw some things out for dinner, but I always have emergency beans. At least that's what I like to call them. I usually make them myself, like make refried beans myself. Obviously they taste better when you make them, but I always have a can of them just in case I ever don't have any or don't have the time to make them or whatever, because my go-to meal, <laughs> like food is like bean tacos and i feel like people don't talk about that enough but that's like such a i feel like staple mexican thing to eat but it's not something that you would like obviously get like at a restaurant or something it's like one of those like i don't know like random things that you would make yourself at home like i feel like it's the equivalent of like a peanut butter jelly sandwich at an american household or like a grilled cheese or something like for me it's either like i make quesadillas or i make like tacos de picoles that's what i do that's just my go-to my family literally makes fun of me for it because anytime there's nothing to eat they're like oh what are you gonna eat like bean tacos i'm like yes actually that is what i'm gonna eat they think that's all i eat but honestly i would be very content if that was all i ate because it just tastes so good so anyway that's what we're doing so love that it's not even even like a oh I want to be vegetarian type deal it's literally just like what I've eaten my entire life and I love it I don't know what it is about it I love refried beans so much which is kind of a problem because you know beans have not the greatest effect on your body all the time but it is wonderful to eat so I'm gonna finish heating this up and then we'll eat and watch some YouTube and take a little break one I obviously finished eating I just kind of sat here for a while usually my lunch break is when I scroll through Instagram and TikTok and like answer comments and post and do all the things but yeah that's kind of what we're up to I am not feeling it today I don't know how much I can stress this but like rainy days are just not it for me like if it falls on a weekend and I can just be like cozy and like you know do whatever it's great but on weekdays when I need to be productive it just kills my mood and then like my house is super 
super dark too because obviously there's no sunlight so it just i don't know just kills me anyway i want to finish the dress today so i'm gonna go back and try to finish that i have a call at three for a potential sponsorship but yeah that gives me about like two hours to do stuff so i could potentially finish the dress in that time i don't know i feel like i'm just working very slow today so i don't know i'm not in like a huge rush to get like everything done so i don't know i'm just being being a little slow but yeah guess it's time to go so now <laughs> just finished the dress i think it looks super cute very happy with how it turned out i think i'm just gonna sit and edit for a little bit while i wait for the call that i'm doing but yeah i will catch you guys later so my call went well i do think it's a sponsorship that will hopefully pull through so hopefully you'll be seeing that soon i'm excited about it but it's like 3 30 and it's still raining oh it makes me so mad because i usually like when i go through a slump in the day or i just like feel like i don't want to get any work done i'll usually go out for a walk or something but i can't do that because it's raining and it's been like that for like three days so i haven't been able to like take my daily walk for three days and that sucks so i don't know i've just been sitting here going through tiktok at least trying to find some good sounds to use for when kennedy comes on friday and we like make content and stuff but ugh it's just one of those weeks you know i feel like life has been just so crazy lately and i feel like i've been doing so much stuff and so much traveling and events and just like have been so go 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 for like you know a good like month and a half ish and now that life has kind of settled down and i'm here for at least like three weeks before i leave again i don't know i think it's all just starting to hit me i guess and i don't know i feel like in life whenever i have like really high highs i like quickly go down and to like some really low lows and i feel like it's this constant up and down but it's like very drastic it's not just like you know little inconveniences or things like that it's like you do all these things you go to la for a pop-up shop you do new york fashion week and then you come home and everything just like i don't know goes downhill i guess yeah i don't know it's like i'm just now realizing all my friends are back in college so i don't have anyone to hang out with except for like you know kennedy's like coming up to do work but that's not like a consistent thing she's gonna be doing now necessarily and my parents are moving i don't know if i've mentioned that in a vlog or not but my parents are moving to texas so they sold our house and they've been like slowly moving things out this upcoming weekend is our last weekend with the house before they give it away so that's also been really hard and that's not something i've been like vocal about necessarily but i feel like i've been talking about wanting to leave indiana for so long and i guess the only reason i'm really here still is because i have family here and because you know my parents are here my brother's here and you know i do have friends here they're just in college right now but now that my parents are moving and i won't even have them here and my friends like this is their senior year of college so who knows if they're all gonna come back here or not i i hope not i hope they make it out and do bigger better things with their lives i don't know i just feel like it's my time to leave too like i just feel like all of these things are kind of a sign to push me to leave because I feel like if I have my parents here still and whatever and my friends do come back or whatever, then it just feels comfortable to stay. But if nobody's here, then it kind of pushes me to want to go out. And I feel like I've just been very lucky to meet a lot of people through social media in both like New York and LA. But I really want to move to LA. Been thinking about it a lot. I debated both places a lot, both like New York and LA because those are the two like main cities for fashion. But I think that A, I already did New York, so I kind of want to try LA. LA, but I also think in terms of like manufacturing and having a big enough space to like have people working for me and do all the things I think LA just makes more sense and I've also never lived in like a warm place like close to a beach like I've never experienced that in my life and I think that would be really cool I think it would also be helpful that it barely rains over there and that I wouldn't have a bunch of rainy days that make me feel like crap I feel like that's not talked about enough how like seasonal depression is a thing and I think it hits me a lot in the fall and winter months and 
and not saying that moving to LA would fix my problems in that sense but I think it does help to actually see the sunlight like the sun really does do a lot for you and the fact that I could like go outside year round and just like de-stress that way would be a wonderful thing for my mental health. And just also the opportunity to like meet new people, meet people within my industry, meet people that are like-minded. I feel like I love Indiana, love the people here, but everybody here kind of just like settles here. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I don't think everybody needs to be living like a super extravagant lifestyle and everybody needs to be like doing bigger, better things. Like some people just want to settle down with their families and have a very normal life. And I think that's beautiful and perfect and i love that that's just not where my life is headed right now so i don't want to be surrounded by that like i want to be around creative people i want to be around people who are also entrepreneurs whether that's in the clothing business or not and i just want to just be around different people and people my age too i feel like everybody here is a older or they're just starting families everybody's getting married it's just the kind of place where that stuff goes down so i and i'm not in that place of my life right now and i just feel very out of place here so this is all to say that i would really like to move out of here soon and that's caused a lot of inner turmoil within me and yeah i don't know maybe if i vocalize it enough it'll happen i'd like to move out there by next year at some point but it's expensive and like i make enough to live comfortably here in indiana but i do not make nearly enough to live in la even uncomfortably <laughs> so I don't know I guess that's where I get really frustrated with it because it's like I just I want to leave and I could just up and leave technically but at the same time it's like I, I can't because I don't have the funds to do that which is frustrating so I feel like I'm, I'm doing a million things right now to try to figure it out and to try to be able to make more so that I can get there but not as easy as people make it seem on social media when they're like hmm, I just moved myself to LA and all my dreams came true like I know that's not gonna happen I know I need to have like money to be able to do that so I didn't intend for this to be an entire rant about my feelings lately but here we are I feel like I haven't really talked about more of like my personal life on here a lot lately I feel like I've been super focused on just talking business things but this is also a thing with my personal life and I feel like I don't know maybe some of you relate maybe you don't maybe you'll have tips maybe you'll help me or maybe you'll just be there to support which is equally wonderful but I just feel the need to voice that because I feel like lately I've just been showing you know all the super high highs and like all the really cool things I've been getting to do and yes I've been super happy with all that like that's very genuine like happiness but at the same time like in my day-to-day -day life I don't feel that and I don't always see it that way and I don't know it's just hard and I'm very thankful for everything I have and everything I've been able to do but that doesn't take away from the fact that I'm like still human and still have bad days and bad periods of time. Um, Cause at this point it's more than just a bad day, but I don't know where I'm going with this, but I just felt it needed to be said. So I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. I know I didn't do too much uh, sewing and doing more, you know, business things, but it's just been that kind of week and I feel like I need to show that every once in a while too. I'm not a hyper productive person all the time and I have very, very low weeks as well. That's where we're at. So yeah, um, subscribe for more if you're not already subscribed so you can help me move to LA. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.